here in Esquimalt, the housing minister is touting a program to preserve more affordable rental homes. However, on the other hand, the government's policy to restrict short-term rentals is getting pushback from some BC communities. Prince George is one of them. Its council has voted unanimously to ask the province for it to be exempt under the new rules. It doesn't automatically qualify since its vacancy rate was 2.8% last year and the threshold is 3%. This is just another example of the provincial government stepping on into our lane and uh, worrying about our jurisdiction of governance while not fulfilling their responsibilities in their areas. Penticton has sent a letter to the province demanding it be able to opt out. Dawson Creek and neighbouring Fort St. John also want out of the new rules. But BC's housing minister is standing firm. He says ending short-term rentals in some cities is one way to boost housing stock across the province. We are in a housing crisis. We have people struggling to find housing in their communities right now. And uh, CMAC has defined a healthy vacancy rate of 3%. And if communities have that, like West Kelowna, they have the ability to opt out. The mayor of West Kelowna says they're thankful they can ask to be exempt from the new short-term rental restrictions that kick in May 1st. We get a lot of tourists, particularly those that want to visit our, our wine routes and uh, just enjoy uh, you know, all that uh, West Kelowna has to offer. And under the new rules, uh, they wouldn't be able to continue. At least one property rights group argues the regulations are too blunt. We see that there is need for nuance in it. We've got places up north that need uh, uh, this shorter term accommodation for usage in, um, in hotels, uh, people for medical treatment. We're see hearing film industries that are in need. And of course, the big demand is tourism, right? Under the new rules, people will only be able to offer short-term rentals in their principal residence in cities with low vacancy rates. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.